All right, so I want to react to this today and kind of give my thoughts and opinions because I see a lot of comments I get about this. I posted this the other day and a lot of people are like, wait, what did they change? Did they change anything? Like, what's going on here? Well, first off, yes, this is the old Bengals logo slash Bengals field versus the new Bengals field. And for, to a lot of people, this looks almost identical, but it's not. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away, the key changes between these two fields, you probably can tell if you look at these two side by side, is going to be the numbers. The numbers are a little bit more bold. They're also a tad bit bigger on both sides of the field going from the 10 all the way down to the 10. You can see if you look at the first image that the, the, the actual yard, yard markers, the numbers are so much more defined and they're also bigger on both sides. The next thing you'll see that is different is going to be the lines on each of the markers. These lines on the old field were kind of drawn out and kind of like fading. These are going to be more pronounced on each one. So when we play on the field, you're going to be able to see them a little bit more, again, actually, you know, out there and... You're going to be able to see them a lot better, right? Same thing with the hashes in the middle. It's going to be the same exact concept right there. Next change is going to be the logo. Now, this logo might look exactly like this, you know, the top logo. And to a certain degree, it is. It's just a little bit darker. So, you can see this is a little bit lighter. This is a little bit darker. Uh, it's a different color of um, orange. Again, it's very similar. It's not that much different. But it is very similar, but it's a different color of the uh, pur I mean, of the purple, of the orange, and also the black's a little bit darker. It is very minimal, and when you see it on a field, you're probably not going to tell the difference. But that is going to be the next difference, and it's going to be the, again, biggest difference when it comes to logo. The end zones have completely changed. Um... You can see that the stripes in both of these end zones are different. So instead of it being, you know, like this, where it's like a split black stripe here, and then it's kind of like split right there, now it's completely different, the actual look of it. And I do like the look of it, based on what I understand, the look of these end zones are based on, I believe, the 20... It's the old uniforms. I forget, I think it might be 2014... 2004, I forget exactly which year it is, but it's based on the actual uniforms from back in the day, and that's what the end zones are actually based on. So, again, other than that, these are exactly the same. It's going to be a turf field. It's going to be a, hy a turf hybrid field, um, and everything else is pretty much identical, which, again, like I said before many times, Am I upset by that? Not really. I'm kind of used to that. We're not going toward grass. There are a million different videos on YouTube, a million different, you know, forum posts about whether you should go grass or you should go field and which one's better and which one's safer for players. Players will tell you different things. Certain players will tell you they like field better. Certain players will tell you like grass better. And it is a endless cycle of going back and forth and players trying to explain why they like a b c d e f g better at the end of the day you know there is different cost when it comes to maintaining free field versus turf there is there is certain gives when it comes to field versus turf um i will say when it comes to this argument i am not um as educated as i would like to be to make this argument um but again i will Reference there are countless videos on YouTube breaking down the two and saying exactly what is better or what isn't better. But at the end of the day, I will tell you the general consensus is everyone has their opinion. Someone, one side would tell you a million reasons why this is better, and the other side would tell you a million reasons why the other one's better. And it's a endless cycle that I, again, do not think that is ever going to completely be figured out. So, who knows? Maybe in the end we're going to get a uh, general consensus. But until the NFL comes out and officially rules one way or another and says, Listen guys, we apologize, but you're going to have to use this. 
or you're going to have to use that until the NFL comes out with their own ruling of how this needs to be done and structured. We're going to be we're going to say the same field that we have now. We're going to stay with turf. We're not going to go to the grass. We're going to stay with the same we're doing right now because unless the NFL comes out, there has to be an NFL warning. That's what I'm trying to say. The NFL has to come out and say across the board that from now on, you have to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Because there is a huge cost of changing the field. Obviously, you know, we're changing our field this offseason, but there's a huge cost when it comes to maintaining, when changing, and all that kind of stuff. And again, I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm not qualified to talk about it, but I will say there is things to look at, right? So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.